the HPI Baja 5B. Follow me as I start my journey down the gasoline rabbit hole with our friend K-Pop RC. K-Pop invited me out to his favorite spot with him and his friend Nash so I could get a feel for what this Nash, Baja thing what? was all about. This is the camera car. And, uh, this is the uh, John Deere special right here. It's hard to appreciate how big these really are without seeing one in person, but having K-Pop throw his around gives you a pretty good idea. We hit the trails of our favorite spot, and I was invited to give my first impressions of the one. Baja. That one looks like a hero. <laughs> it's uh, a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah? Uh, that's what she said. A lot of junk in the trunk, too. Like, there's some, there's some weight. There's some weight there, for sure. Um, but I, I love it. I think it's very cool. I like the new livery that you did. TikTok is where it's at. I don't, I don't think I'm doing it right. Hand me a remote. Let's play cars. Let's do it! Yep. <laughs> I was instantly struck by how much power these gasoline powered RCs can put out. It's a pretty intense and extremely fun experience. Uh, one that's hard to duplicate really, and batteries just don't do the same sort of thing. There were a lot of smiles, and I was definitely enjoying myself. And that's, of course, when disaster struck. Yeah. Man, you give me a fucking Baja and it's fucking broken? Shit. So just to recap, this MF right here, son of a, I mean, it's super old. Bag of misfit service. Yeah. You know? Hey, I'll tell you what, though. That was pretty amazing. I am, like, hooked. Yeah, it's pretty good, The noise, right? the smell. Yeah. The languid steering. <laughs> it's all the things I want. Hey, here it is on the bench. Uh, this is a Baja 5B given to me by K-Pop RC. Uh, we traded large-scale RCs, and I think I got the better part of the deal. Uh, this is uh, amazing. It's um, it's filthy <laughs> right now because we took it out. We had a little bit of a rip with it, uh, and there are a few things that we're going to need to replace before we go out again tomorrow. Uh, the and you know I want to get good quality footage, and uh, you really do need to have a steering servo that actually functions. This one, for whatever reason, it'll accelerate, but it will not break. This is one of those scenarios where it can get away from you. Crappy burnt out servo replaced with crappy non burnt out servo. Uh, I decided to keep this radio gear because that way it uh, is K-Pops and if he wants it back, it's all ready to go for him. We don't need to swap receivers and all that nonsense, so we're just going to leave it as is. Endpoints are good. Everything else is good. Let's go outside and run it and have more fun. Uh, I fixed it. I fixed it. I put a, a new servo in there. I swapped out the old broken one with a new not broken one. K-Pop gave me a quick rundown of the mechanics of a Baja 5B, so I knew a little bit more about what I was doing. Holy, look at the size of that spur gear. Right? It's big. And, uh, yeah, it's just, that's my hand. Just in case you didn't know, it's like 40 plus with the humidity today, so. This is, this is for you. We're here to rip Baja! They're surprisingly straightforward to work on and operate, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're reliable. Just like one short yank. This time, I thought I'd try my hand at driving and filming one of these beasts at the same time.
After running around, getting sweaty, and getting some awesome footage, wouldn't you just know it? <laughs> son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! What? So are, are these always this finicky, or is that just like... That's just it, isn't it? <laughs> Unfazed by failure, K-Pop and I took the opportunity to play with some of our other toys. K-Pop even tried out my Lozy Super Baja Ray 2.0, which he has now borrowed. So hopefully we'll see more content on that. Speaking of, you should definitely subscribe to his channel. I'll put a link down below where you can do just that. We managed to get them going one more time and took them out for a final rip late into the afternoon of our second day. And I must say that the HPI Baja 5B is one of the best experiences I've ever had in RC. And I've been around for a little while. And unfortunately, I didn't give these a try way sooner. Because as we know, HPI doesn't make the Baja any longer. And I think that is a real shame. These models represented a lot of what was very good about RC. I'm sure that partially I'm just attracted to this because of the nostalgia. And while it is nostalgia, there are a few gas-powered options still out there on the market. If you're looking for something a little bit different and a little more challenging from a driving perspective, and something that's going to offer you a lot more runtime over its battery-powered counterparts, you really can't go wrong with something like this. So if you can find a used one in reasonable shape, you can find some parts to go with it, or there's something new that tickles your fancy, this might be something for you. My deepest thanks to K-Pop for inviting me out, letting me borrow one of these, and really getting a handle on what it takes to run a Baja. They are an absolute blast, and I had an amazing time. I really look forward to filming and driving and collaborating with K-Pop again. And if you haven't already, definitely check out his channel. There is a lot of really amazing stuff beyond the large-scale stuff. And of course, if you liked this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Oh my god. How was that, man? Oh, dude, that was super fun. Yeah, super good, huh? Yeah. Wish it wasn't so finicky. I mean, we did kind of hand you a fair, very heavily used, <laughs> heavily worn. Like, this thing has made it through, I think, two or three Canadian nationals. Well, uh, it's pretty sturdy. I think the only thing that stopped us today was um, heat. heat. Yeah, it just, it's so hot. Like, I'm, I'm freaking dripping <laughs> with sweat. All that was left for me was the toe of shame. Back to the cars. Cheers to beers, boys, and love you, bye.